G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. I'm Josh. In this video, we're looking at how to work out questions involving fuel consumption. Now, I'm going to give you a quick explanation about what fuel consumption is. Fuel consumption is the amount of petrol or gas your vehicle uses to drive a given distance. And it can be measured in a number of different ways. We can measure it in terms of the number of kilometres that you could drive with one litre of petrol, the kilometres per litre. We could also look at the number of litres you would use to drive 100 kilometres. That is the litres per 100 kilometres. We could also use the number of miles that you could go per gallon, miles per gallon. And you're going to notice for each of these that we actually have a formula that we've written out too. We have kilometres divided by the number of litres and litres divided by the number of 100 kilometres and the miles per gallon, which means miles divided by the number of gallons. And we're going to be using these to work out a lot of the things to do with fuel consumption. It makes things really, really simple. So what about our launch into the first question? So for our first question, a car uses 290 litres of petrol to drive 1,300 kilometres. What is its fuel consumption? So there's two different ways that we can measure fuel consumption using these particular figures. The first way we can measure fuel consumption is we could say, what is the number of kilometres that we travel per litre, okay, the kilometres per litre. The other thing we could do is we could also say how many litres are we using per 100 kilometres. So we're going to work out both of these, but you might have to specifically work one out when you are doing this. So we're just going to treat each of our units here as a formula. So we have the kilometres divided by the number of litres. The number of kilometres we have is 1,300 kilometres, and this is going to be divided by the number of litres, this much here, 290 litres. Nice and easy, pretty easy calculation to work out, okay, and that's going to be 4.5 kilometres per litre. All right, that's the first way. As you can see, I just followed this particular thing, kilometres divided by litres, kilometres per litre. The next one is litres per 100 kilometres. So let's work this out. We have 290 litres, so let's put that on first, 290 litres, and this is going to be divided by the number of 100 kilometres. As you can see, this is per 100 kilometres. So in 1,300 kilometres, how many 100 kilometres do we have? So 1,300 divided by 100, we're just going to divide that by 13 and we'll get our answer. So 290 divided by 13, this is going to be 22.3 litres per 100 kilometres. And that's the way that you can work out a fuel consumption really easy. So I'm going to look at these now in terms of miles per gallon. So let's look at this question here. A car uses 43 gallons of petrol to drive 1,250 miles. What is its fuel consumption? We've got miles and we're using gallons, so our fuel consumption is going to be in miles per gallon, okay? And you might think of this as being the per here as actually being divided by. So you can actually see this as the miles divided by the number of gallons. So it's a nice and easy equation to work out. Okay, so let's do this. First off, we have the miles here. We have 1,250, and that's going to be your miles, and this is going to be divided by the number of gallons. We have 43 gallons here. All right, so what do we get when we work this out? 1,250 divided by 43, you're going to get the answer of 29.1 miles per gallon. As I said, nice and simple, just treat the units that you're working out as an equation, as a formula, and you go on from there. Okay, so let's have a look at how then you may apply these once you know your fuel consumption. So this is how you would go about applying these. A car has a fuel consumption of 8.8 .8 litres per 100 kilometres. It drives 360 kilometres. How much fuel does it use? So you're going to see here that we have a couple of things. We have the amount of fuel or well, amount of petrol that we're actually, we know the, the, for the fuel consumption. We've also got this part that we're trying to work out down here. We have 100 kilometers here, and we have 360 kilometers that we are traveling. So we're gonna be using these to work out proportionally how much petrol we need. Okay, and this is how we're going to do this. So we have 8.8 .8 liters, and this is going to take us 100 kilometers. But we don't want to go 100 kilometres, we want to go 360 kilometres, which is a little bit bigger. And you might say to yourself, okay, 
how much bigger is it? Because we want to know then how much petrol we're going to use. So how much bigger is 360 than 100? I'm talking proportionally. How much would you multiply 100 by to get 360? Well, we can go 360 divided by 100 and work that out. So this is going to be multiplied by 3.6. So we're going to be going 3.6 times as far. We're going to be using 3.6 times as much petrol. 8.8 .8 times 3.6. We're going to have our answer. This is going to be 31.7 litres of petrol that we'd need. Okay, let's have a look at this involving miles. A car has a fuel consumption of 35 miles per gallon. It drives 260 miles. How much fuel does it use? So as you can see here, we have 35 miles and this is with one gallon. We also know that we're traveling 260 miles. But what we really want to then find out is how much fuel do we use? Is how many gallons do we need to do this? So let's write this all down here. We have our fuel consumption, which is 35 miles, and that is using one gallon of fuel. We are driving 260 miles. And what we want to really find out is how much fuel we're going to be using to drive that far. So as you can see, we are getting proportionally bigger. What would you multiply 35 by to get 260? So 260 divided by 35, if we do that, we get the answer of 7.4. So we have to multiply by 7.4 to get this answer here. So we're going 7.4 times further than this 35 miles. We're going to be using 7.4 times as much fuel. 1 times 7.4 will have our answer. This is 7.4 gallons of gas that we would be using. Anyway, hopefully you like this video. They're the major types of questions you'll get when you get fuel consumption questions. And as long as you treat them like the formula that you can see that they actually are, they're fairly simple. Use logic, use common sense, and you'll be okay with it. Anyway, hopefully you like that video. Please consider subscribing if you did like that video, as well as possibly becoming a patron. Your help is always appreciated and your support is always appreciated. Anyway, comment if you like this video. Tell me how you went. See you next time. Bye.